Hi again. In this video, what we're going to do is that we're going to continue creating the chess pieces. As you can see, I have the basic shape for the king, queen, and the rook. And we're just simply going to get... Um, we're going to be concentrating on the on the crowns for the king and the queen, and the upper part for the rook. So for that, I have to mention that I actually converted all of this into editable poly, so we can actually enter into sub-object mode. That way we can access um, the the vertices and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and select the rook. We're gonna turn on the edges so we can see what we so we can see what we are doing. And let's put this in full screen. I'm gonna select number two to select the edges. And to make this selection, what we can do is select in vertex mode. Select the center of the of the center vertex that is in there right click on it and convert to edge and that way we're gonna get this kind of selection so now that we have all these edges selected I'm gonna right click and select connect and as you can see I have like a, a, a middle circle now and that way what I'm gonna be doing is actually going to face mode and selecting uh, making this kind of selection let's see um, I'm just simply going to be selecting 4 by 4 as you can see and now that this is completed, I'm just simply going to select, uh, right click and select the option to extrude. So as you can see, this was rather easy. Let's just simply put it a little bit up. And there you go, we have the top of the rook already. So we're going to select OK. And as you can see, let me take off the, f the, the faces. And, and as you can see, we have the top already made. It is a little bit blocky what you can do in this case is select those faces and assign a smoothing group to them so as you can see right away they were they get very smooth they don't look blocky anymore you can do that by uh, selecting all of the blocks on the top and simply assigning let's clear all and select a smoothing group sometimes you get this kind of behavior and it is because the top of it must be in a different group than the other sides that way you're gonna get the smoothing result that you are looking for simply select like this and so all the faces as you can see the this face and this one they must be in different they have they must be separated so in general this usually fixes the problem in case that you still have those kind of issues, just simply select those faces and assign a different smoothing group, like number three or something like that. Um, depending of on how it is, here on the bottom we have number three, and if you assign this one as well, it creates those kind of issues. So you just play around with this, just clear them all, select maybe number one on them again, yeah, and you have a basic shape in there. Very very simple to do for the rook. For the queen, we're going to do something similar. I'm just going to go out of that object, select the queen. going to go to faces. Let me put the edges again. And uh, what we're going to do, it is simple. We're going to select several faces. And we're going to hit Alt-L. As you can see, it is creating a selection like th let me show you in a better way let me see I select one of them two of them actually to select the kind of loop that I want and hit alt L as you can see it is selecting around all the faces that are around that particular object that are connected to each other in the way that I specified in this case if I could if I select two like this I'm gonna get the same loop but vertically so that's what happens when I select several of in this way gonna select several like this and I'm not only gonna select um, horizontally but I'm also gonna get make a selection vertically I don't need this vertical ones so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna enter in this mode so I can see in the back and hitting alt I'm gonna just simply select those and what it does is that it inverts the selection so if they are actually actually it des deselect those faces with Alt pressed and using the, the, the mouse, you deselect those. And then I have this particular selection here. What I'm going to do with it is that I'm going to use the extrude command. I'm going to select the option local normal. And I'm going to put a little bit of height here. 
a little bit more. Let's turn on the smoothing again. Smooth highlights. And after we have this, I click OK. And then I just move those polygons to the top. What this is going to do, let me take this off, is that as you can see, I have kind of a little crown here. It is not exactly as the one in the reference, but it is. you have seen some pieces, chess pieces, that have this shape. So, as you can see, it is pretty simple. I'm just using a very simple method for doing it. There are tons of ways to do this. And you can see as well the edges in here. You just select two of them or something. Set Alt-L to select those in the middle and assign a smoothing group to them. That's it. As well in here. Select two of them. There you go. A smoothing group for that. And there you go, a basic shape for the queen. Again, you can use a little bit of art. If you see the reference image, let's go ahead and look at it. What happens with it is that, let me see, I have smooth highlights here. What happens with it is that we have these waves in there. There's a lot of ways that you can do that. You can use the the, bol the boolean operands uh, as we used before. But I just wanted to show a basic way to do this. So with this, this example is enough. And for the king, we have a little cross on the top. With this one, what we're going to do, let's go to the front view. And uh, in here on the top, I'm just going to make it here. I'm just simply going to go ahead of uh, and deselect the queen because actually we're selecting her. We're going to go outside of the sub-object level and then deselect it. And then we're going to just simply create a plane. Let me just simply do it like this. And in this case, I'm just going to verify that we have three segments on the length and three segments on the width. And after I have this, I'm going to convert it to an editable poly gonna enter into the vertex mode and these corners I'm gonna dis make them disappear by that what I'm gonna do in this case there's uh, again several ways to do this but the one that I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna connect these two vertices as well as this ones and that one and then after I have them like this I'm gonna right click and select target weld and then just simply weld this up. You have um, the problem, you have to connect them first because the target weld is not going to work and vertices that are not connected in, in any way. So after you have them selected, uh, you have them connected with that line, you can make a cross in a very, sh very simple way. Um, again, in this case, I'm going to just simply do something um, a little bit more fancy. I'm just going to select it, go to the edges mode, deselect the center. I'm going to right click and select the option create shape. And there you go, I have a very smooth looking curve. It is a shape that it is, um, it is not the same as the other one, this one in here. What I'm going to do with that is that I'm just going to go out of the sub object mode by using the control B and then I'm going to delete that. I'm going to be using this instead. And uh, what we're going to do with you is that we're going to use the modifier for actually extruding it. Mesh editing and we're gonna extrude it. As you can see we have the modifier applied already and we have an, a very big amount in this case. I don't want it that big. Let's put it down a little bit. Maybe by five. For that I'm gonna go to the perspective view. As you can see we're actually getting almost the the image that we want. Let me put it a little bit smaller. That is better. And now just in here I'm just gonna down a little bit, maybe like this. This is now more uh, of a personal taste. If you want, you can put it a little bit more. Um, instead of rounded, you can use the, the, the squared one. You can actually add the details that you see in the reference image. In this case, the lower part, it is actually a little bit more wide. And those kind of preferences, you know, it is up to the modeler. In this case, I'm just going to go with this one. A little bit simple design, but it looks good. And then, after I finish with this, I select the king, and there's an option in, in, in Edit Geometry. You just simply select Attach, and you attach that part, that other editable poly. So, after that, it is part of the king. Maybe we can make some, some modifications in here to make it flat, and other things. I'm just going to leave it this way, because this is just 
for the sake of an example. As you can see, we have most of the pieces already done. And in the next video, we're going to concentrate on the knight. The thing is that the knight has a little bit more work. We have to work a little bit more on, on the knight because it is it is a piece that requires a totally different kind of modeling technique so um, by now that we have this let me actually modify this a little bit more by making it just a bit smaller because I, I find it a little bit too big and by that I believe it is a little bit better so again in the next video we're going to be covering the night and we're going to be using a totally different modeling technique for this one which is um, it is called patch modeling in this way we're going to just create a shape with a spline and then we're going to make some some connections in between that we're going to be making kind of depth on that particular um, spline that we created and after that then we're gonna use a symmetry modifier and we're gonna get this the basic shape of the of the night that way so we're gonna see each other in the next video and let's continue creating the chessboard